information about the family of a man shot and killed by a West Baton Rouge Sheriff's deputy. That family now suing the sheriff's office. Joseph Richardson's relatives filed that lawsuit this morning. NBC Local 33's Kara St. Cyr has reaction from the family and their lawyers. Joseph Richardson's family claims he was vulnerable and unarmed in the minutes leading up to his death. Now, more than a month later, the family is still questioning why the situation escalated to a deadly shooting. All I want is transparency and the truth. The family says they want to understand how a trained deputy could shoot an unarmed man in the back of the neck. Was it a bad shoot because of lack of training, lack of supervision, or incompetence and negligence by the shooter? Today, lawyers representing Richardson's family filed a wrongful death suit against the West Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office. They hope the suit will not only bring the family some peace, but also bring more evidence about the shooting to light. Ronald Haley, one of the family's attorneys, said analyzing the gun Deputy Vance Matrenga used that night might give insight into what happened. We have learned of the possibility that the firearm that was used to kill Joseph Richardson was tampered with. The family's lawyer says guns come with a specific setting for pound pressure. If it's adjusted, it can change how easy or difficult it is to pull the trigger. We're going to look at the chain of custody, and we're going to look at whether or not that trigger point was manipulated in such a manner that it was outside the regular scope of the regulations that the manufacturer set. The attorneys say they hope the look at the gun might get Richardson's family one step closer to healing. Kara St. Cyr, NBC Local 33 News. And if you'd like to read that full lawsuit for yourself, you can find it online. Just visit our website, brproud.com.